Okay, and this goes here. And this... This comes here. Aha, I got you. <laughs> Guys, hi everybody, I'm Cubastic, I'm in a museum of interesting science. My today's challenge is to solve the most interesting puzzles that are located here. They are presented here from the simplest, as you have already seen, even a child could solve it, to the most difficult. I will pick the more interesting ones and we will see if I can handle it. The thing is that I don't know where is the simple and where is the difficult one. This one obviously simple, but this one seems to me a lot more complicated. Here the task is to solve a pyramid from these red parts. To be honest, I do not fully understand how to solve a pyramid from square cubes. The pyramid is a triangle. We will try. Let's do that. A start has already been made, I see. It should definitely be located here. Maybe this way. Why not? Further... Further it is not clear. <laughs> Damn, the child has solved the puzzle, but I can't. Okay, moving on. So, this looks like what I need now. The difficulty is uh, that now I still need to put the last detail on the upper part. And I don't know how to do it. Maybe something like this? Here? It already looked like a pyramid, like the top of the pyramid. I'll be solving it from top to bottom, it's more clear to me that way. Here we go, so we are moving in the right direction. How was that? I feel so dumb, and the feeling is strong that I'm extremely dumb. So maybe this is the way it should be done here, right? Swept uh, two elements? Well, it's tough! I don't get it, really! I don't know! Everything seems to be so simple, but why doesn't it work? Okay, this element should be definitely be here, let's admit. Surely this also has to be somehow involved in the first layer. So... Oh, it is impossible to complete, I swear, because here... Oh, by the way, coincidence, look! The vertex can only be this cube, I already understood this through the past experiments. This is how we solve the first layer, the second layer, next we have a layer you see of three and it more or less coincides. So we only need to deliver one thing here, and that's it. And it can already stand that way, and now... And now the last task is to put uh, this one here, and all this fits perfectly here. The pyramid is ready! I'm a fairy on! Did you see it? No, <laughs> for real, it's a super hard puzzle. Just uh, the fact that something triangular should be constructed from squares, where the cubes are stacked unevenly on top of each other, this already complicates the task a little. Now it is a simpler puzzle here, because here the cubes are already laid exactly on top of each other, there's no longer such a bevel here. This puzzle is called Soma Cubes, our task is to solve it. This is definitely wrong. Mm, perhaps so, but I'm not sure, most likely. It may be so, it may be so, not so, like at all. So, listen, well, it's hard, damn it! Bingo! Boom boom, well, it turned out much faster, by the way. However, these uh, summer cubes can be used to make different shapes, increasing the difficulty level. But this, guys, is not quite a puzzle. This is just a proof of the Pythagorean theorem. For those who don't remember how it works, I can explain it now. Everyone knows that the Pythagorean theorem sounds like the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the legs. This is our right-angled triangle, this is the leg, this is the leg, and this is the hypotenuse. This is the square of the leg, 4 by 4, but this is the square of the other leg, 3 by 3. And if you move all this here, you get the square of the hypotenuse. Amazing. Not more, not less. Here is a visual proof of the theorem, you can show it off at school. And do not forget to say that you saw it on my channel, Cubastic channel, we're moving on. In the next part of the video I want to show you the same type of puzzle but it's different at the same time. 
Here we have a flat shapes, completely different shapes, from which we need to fold a square. How, for example, can you make a square out of four triangles that are so different? It might be interesting. I think I should use the timer here. Let me do it. How long do you think it will take me to solve all the squares at these tables? And there are 8 squares, 8 simple puzzles for speed. I set the timer and start. So, here we go. Start. I'll start with the simplest, it seems to me that this is exactly this one, because you see, exactly, it just took a few seconds. Okay, but here it's already more difficult. Square, moving on. Whoa, 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 it will be much more difficult. There should be one small triangle for each large triangle, and one square should be in the center. Doesn't match. Oh, here it is! Look, this is easy. We make a large square out of a square, and from this square we receive an even larger square. Done, a little bit of logic and we go. This one is uh, the same, but solved in the other direction, let's say so. So... Somehow... So, what is next? Oh, something wrong, wait. But somehow like that, it has to be like that anyway. So it coincided. Oh, easy. Oh, and what's about time? In the meantime, minute 46 has passed. We move on. It should be easy here. Okay. Or not easy. Four identical triangles, which means there must be a symmetrical figure. Obviously not like that, but... Well done, here it is. Easy. Sixth square, let's go. So it should be in the middle and there is one for each triangle, that's all I understand for now. Damn, nothing is clear! So difficult, I'm ashamed that I cannot solve this quickly! Well... And here... Doesn't work, everything is correct, we're moving on as expected. Damn! Wait, stop! Look, two identical figures turned out from this. Do I understand correctly? Yeah, these are three identical... No, these are two identical squares. Come on, square! Why is it so complicated? Tell me in the comments how to solve this puzzle, because I still can't do it. <laughs> I tried! Some crap turns out here. So there it is. Yes! Oh my god! That was the hardest! 5 minutes! 5 minutes and 2 more squares left! They are all different, but as we did it in the past, there should be 2 identical figures. Then 2 more similar and 1 in the middle. Yeah, but I'm sure this is how it should be. I made uh, 2 squares and also the extra details remained, did you see? One, two, and this is out. <laughs> well, damn, why is it so difficult? And what time is there, by the way? Six minutes, six minutes, god, this is a shame, that's a shame, more than a minute for squares. Yes, here it is, here. Something not right, wait, and I was already delighted. The triangle here is small. Some goddamn strip is missing. And if these parts are swept, it's even worse. Damn it, something is wrong. Wait. How is that? Why? What's happening there? Like this. I'm out of details. For real, 100% there is not enough details, some kind of madness. Who took the pieces from the puzzle? No, no one. Okay. But it should work in any case. Oh, oh, oh. Again I came up with the same. What the hell is this? As if some detail is missing, clearly it's missing. Okay, this square is too tough for me. I admit that I cannot solve it. 
We will ask then uh, the one who knows the secret and now the last square. It should be simple, these things should be symmetrical in some way, right? Once again. Three. And here it looks as if one is missing. Look, some kind of nonsense. Check out how weird it looks. It feels like some detail is missing. Here and here, I can't understand if this true or... Stop, stop, stop! Most likely it's not just that uh, these two squares are separate from these six. It's just that I solved these six quickly enough. I understand that a timer is not needed here. 11 minutes have passed, which is too much for such puzzles. I want to know the secret of this nonsense. And if I sit here for another 10-15 minutes and think, I could certainly solve it. But now, in a hurry, I don't understand how to do it. So let's call a square consultant. Is there a square master here? A square manager? A square assistant? Anyone? Square helper? Anyone? Hey, I really need your help as a square master. As I'm not a square master, I really need you to help me. Look, you have four identical parts here. Try to make a half of a square out of two. Why didn't I understand that right away? Out because of Because you're not square pro. A square professional, that's it. So what is a half of a square? It is either a trapezoid or a triangle. Thank you very much, but it doesn't look like a half yet and not even a wall one. Alright. <laughs> Damn, this is actually easier than it seemed. One, two, three. I would like to thank you, your squarity, because this is some kind of stuff I couldn't solve. Here I have some kind of trouble too, I have a feeling that some detail is missing. No, look, you can make half a square out of this too. It's always easier to make half a square and another half. Yeah, there it is. And now you have to make up the same half of uh, these. Do you have a jigsaw? You seem to be helping, but nothing is clear anyway. Ah, damn! I did the same half! God, so this... This is the hardest square in my life. Guys, you can officially write in the comments that I'm stupid. I failed. But I'm used to solving the most difficult puzzles and here too there is one and it's also gigantic. Behind the scenes I asked specially trained people to entangle the rope around this metal structure as much as possible. The essence of this puzzle is uh, that your task is to untangle this structure to make the rope separate. And then to untangle it again so that the next person cannot solve it. Let's see if I can handle it or not. I don't even know which end of the rope I should start with. In general, it is logical that I should start with this one and the second end is more loose. We need to put this here. And here we untangled this part. Well, in fact, in complexity, this is comparable to untangling the headphones that are tangled in your pocket. Which means impossible. So listen well. Yes, this is of course tough. Such a nut. It's not even, you know, quite a puzzle, because there is no logical sequence of factions here. It's just a nut to untangle. So by the way, I will now take off uh, this rope and that's it. I only have it on uh, this red, red square. Okay, here further we can do it like this, here, uh-huh, and this one is untied like a normal knot. That's all. The most difficult thing that was here I still managed to solve faster than… or oh, stop, I haven't yet managed to solve it. Ah, easy. <laughs> Guys, do not forget that now videos are released on the channel on Tuesdays and Fridays, and now I tell and show the most interesting puzzles. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything. And now it's my time to tangle it. Here we go! That's it! I did it! See you very soon in the next videos, Cubastic was with you, thank you all for watching, bye everyone and have a good time!